sit down, think it out, pay respect to the anonymous silence. It sails out of the jar, like pure smoke. Your mind is like a child's rattle. But where you were body led, the floor gives way beneath your feet, and your heart is in your mouth. And you go forward. You will carve your presence anew into the mystery and surprise that knocks you pale as a fence, whose trespass is puncture. As I squint in at the glare of the sun, now, as you stumble, from the aching to the fact, and come to yourself, at home, at last, in this full force of suspense, that defines resolution. When I read the instructions, everything cold and grim that had been exacted, revenge on me, shuddered and quivered, I made the circle, I said the spell, and something lifted, sure enough, you look in vain for the old yard where the prisoners exercise, the building's still the same, but all the lighting has been radically rearranged. Last time I met you on the bridge, you seemed yourself trapped and uncertain, covetous of your former elective invisibility. It's a fine thing to walk freely down these streets again, and right now the world appears limitless. Still, I hail the first available taxi. I can hardly, you know, endure the very racing of my heartbeat. Landscape and weather are rushing by, as in a dream. I'm enjoying the movement. But I spring like a tiger at the moment I arrive. Tasks to be done, fun to be denied, out on forage, feels so cold out, never can survive, fears to be faced, tears to be cried, the world and death my life skips a heartbeat and dives somewhere unwarranted by any law or 
bliss of light somewhere all of its own finding and keeping let what is subject to law passively abide by such appointments I emerges when no such tradition or convention applies